tell us if we're now live. Sure. Is it listed or not listed? It should be uh, public. Um, I just have to throw in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're live, but yes, we I are live. I just Ooh. want to see what the uh. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, let me just <laughs> add stuff to it. I'm gonna mute that tab because otherwise I'm gonna go bonkers. I love this song so much. It's cute. Can you hear the music well? Who? Cat. If I unmute the tab. Could you do that for like a brief 30 mm -hmm. seconds? Thank you. You might want to turn your voices up if you can. How do I do that? Do I... On a Yeti. Oh. Because our voice thing is on max. That's volume. Do I use gain? Um... How's that? I'm not hearing a difference. Hang on. So, <clears throat> out of curiosity, do you have your mic set separately from your desktop audio? Um, it... That's my calendar. It says speaker, uh, Yeti stereo microphone, because... I've just done the very basics. Oh, wait, I know where I have to go. Okay, because I have my mic on one and it's turned all the way up, and then I have my desktop audio on another and that's turned down. Well, I use the same exact. I, I have to use my desktop and because I only have a laptop. Yeah, my microphone's at like 99. Um, advanced. I'm pretty sure you can set separate tracks on a laptop as well. I'm not positive, though. I'm sorry for my package crinkling. <laughs> but does it... Can you still hear us, though? Or do I need to turn down the uh, music? No, I can still hear you guys just fine. Alright, so the stream has, like... N so you can hear us on the stream, right? Yeah. Alright. As long as you and can hear us... I can hear myself on the stream, which is equally important if I'm going to be present for the... Yeah thing. Let's get out that halo effect from the... You might need to... Yeah, move that there. You gotta turn it this way. There we go. Oh god. Stop touching it, Chrissy. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Touch, touch, touch. I just need to get the... I keep forgetting to grab the Discord link for hours for our poor university one. I think I already have one set up. Hang on. I have one. Control V. There we go. And then I'll add other stuff to it later in the evening. How about that? Okay. All right. Oh, we have two people watching. I think one of them is us. All right. Are you, are you ready to start, Chrissy? Sure. All right. Hey, guys. What's up? Well, that is very annoying just staring at the YouTube one. Let's pull up the actual game. So today we are doing a blind play of Doki Doki Literature Club. I know what's going to happen. It's really cute, by the way. Like, cat, cat can dodge for me. Mm, looks cute. It's like... So the... Main emphasis on this stream. Full playthrough. What? Well, well, not full playthrough, but one playthrough of it, because John played it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, John's streams always make me laugh. Um, so today we're doing a new stream called Blind Date, where it's a show I came up with where we find a game for someone to match, like Mom's Next on the list, and uh, so. We find a game that we think would be a good match, and because I know you love reading, <laughs> you would like this, and you like poetry, and there's a lot of poetry making in this. Um, so we read somewhere that you have to pull up the game file for this. So let me just pull up the uh, Steam file.
I have no idea where my Steam file is. That's the problem. So I have to go to computer. Not this PC. <laughs> you scare me. I'm sharing the link around and stuff, getting the uh, stream out there Thank you. a little bit while you're doing this. Thank you, Miss Cat. So, oh yeah, so to clear this up, I'm not there with them. I'm only in voice chat, so I will not be able to see reactions except for watching the stream. Yeah. Which is fine. I think the delay will be hilarious. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Ow. I'm just trying to, seriously, I'm trying to find where my Steam file is on here. You should be able to type it into, um, Cortana or whatever. Oh, that's true. Thank you. Glad to help. It's at Not here. <laughs> Or do one better and I type it into here. Or I look through here. Are you freaking. No, I'm gonna go to my PC and just look it up. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where. And this should be interesting because I'm probably gonna be doing a playthrough of this next week. Oh, one of my friends just logged in to a game. That's cool. I don't think it's here. Should be, that's the thing. I think there's actually a way to... Me. I have sensitive information on here. I actually do, so. You should be able to hide the sensitive information, I thought. No, I have it from Chrissy. What? Actually, I think I can pull my files. Properties. Create desktop shortcut. Okay. A beautiful face. Thing. You should be able to actually pull up the file somewhere, but I'll find it eventually. So, after that fun-filled adventure of me going getting really frustrated, uh, let's just restart. So, like step four, this is a new uh, thing I want to try called Blind Date. And it's basically you trying out new games. Am I your date? Sister date. <laughs> so, not for, creepy at all. so welcome to the Pups channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are twins. Um, so yeah, so this game has actually picked up a lot lately. And this one, I'm like, I found a game for you. I want you to play. Don't go in looking into it because I want it to be special. Like a blind date. <laughs> so are you ready to hear us bicker cat? Cat? 
I'm getting like every other word on my end. I apologize. Oh, I said, are you ready to hear us bicker? Yes. All right. <sighs> you have control of the mouse, so hit new game. Hi to Katie, who's in the chat right now. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Now, pick any name you want. <laughs> of course. Oh, of course. I thought you would have gone with, like, Taco Senpai. Oh, my Taco God. Taco Senpai would be amazing. <laughs> Senpai. Wait, how do you spell it? I A. I mean A I. A I A I. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Okay. You can't do dashes, sadly. Mm -hmm. Hey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate voices. Can I push enter just to? Yeah. That's you. Oh, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh. Question. Is it senpai or sempai? It's either, honestly. Okay. As long as they just notice me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it just... Yeah. That girl is... Sayori. Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friendship friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works oh, out wait, because you've be known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, <laughs> and I would get tired of waiting up. That sounds like me. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and... I an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori? Sayori. Sayori. I can't pronounce words. She doesn't Catch watch as me. much anime as I do. <laughs> 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 I overslept again. That is me. <laughs> That's me too. <laughs> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I... Oh, that's you. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I feel like I sh you should have grabbed your glasses. I'm sorry. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Maybe I was. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> That's mean, Taco Senpai. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm reading this in like monotone-ish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> Ooh. Let me make sure audio is still good. Fine, fine. Is the audio... Let me see if audio is still going through. Yeah. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Wait, can you hear yourself in the uh, live stream, cat? Me? Yeah. I think. Might unmute the tab. Oh shit! I think I forgot to add you. Let me add Discord on here. Mm. Yeah, I can hear myself. Oh, you can? Oh, wait, it's on streamer's mode, so of course oh, you can. Oh, sorry, I was, like, tapping. All right. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Taco-senpai, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. That oh. was me. That was me. Sorry, I got too I'm excited. I'm Taco Senpai. I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Except for Esau. <laughs> I have been looking. Oh, I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? 
I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. With the exception of games and anime, that is you. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. You got the social skills. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Which is true in real life. Aww. You're very warm. I'm gonna keep my hand right there because it's like the warmest spot on your back. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. That sounds like multiple conversations mom and dad had with me. You trust me, right? Don't make What's me keep. I know. I don't even know what a neat is. Google it. <laughs> I don't trust that answer. All right. <laughs> so a neat is someone like from the previous generation in Japan during the economic boom in the 80s who uh, is it's more of an entitlement generation where they are like oh we did so well I don't have to work so they're up in their houses all day or like in their apartments all day and they're just playing video games and doing nothing but that's I'm not gonna lie that sounds kind of awesome yeah <laughs> I'm gonna be a neat <laughs> you're neat <neato. laughs> don't make me keep don't don't make me keep worrying about you all right all right I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. How many times have I heard you say that to me, too? You will, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess <coughs> I'll promise you that. <laughs> will you, though? No. Yeah! Wait, Muppet style. Yay! <laughs> it's gonna look glorious in the stream. Probably lag. Why it do looks I... beautiful on the stream. <laughs> uh, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. They okay, do. Katie came in with the, de the actual definition of neat, which is not in employment, education, or training. Yeah, that, that pretty much sums up neat. All right. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick minute again to try to find my Steam file. This music. It's so nice. It's pretty. Here it is. Why won't you open? Open, open. Control. Struck by an inappropriate commentary. <laughs> <laughs> but Charlie is too focused to notice. Mop womp. But I noticed cat. Sorry, I'm like just really trying to like find this because there's some pretty cool Easter eggs in here. Thinking I might know where it is. Once again, I apologize about this constant waiting. One second. I gotta ask the internet these questions. Same folder. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm a twin to this girl right here. Um, I don't know. I'm not good with telling people about myself. <laughs> right, it should be in the library. Uh, what do you do? Like, what? I'm a college student. What do you do in school? Um, I sleep and eat a lot of food. And drink. And drink. 
a lot. What are you studying to uh, be? Um, environmental health, which is just the study of the environment and how it affects people's health. <laughs> also, occupational safety. Safety Charlie, why you gotta sound like the annoying relative at Thanksgiving? Yeah, jeez. Stop getting up in my grill. <laughs> do I have to be all bubbly and stuff? Like, OMG, what is here? Uh, what do you want to do in the future? <laughs> Pass the spinach dip. <laughs> um, what did we do during a uh, winter break? Oh, well... We went to Florida. That was fun. It was actually really warm compared to now, which I think they have snow. Um. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Bzz. Bzz. My phone just so went off. Especially you guys. I know. I'm not good with streams. Oh, it should be in downloads. Um. Type. I ain't good with the talkins to the computer. <laughs> to the computers? To the computers. Um, if there's Honestly, sometimes you just gotta ramble and hope what comes out isn't complete nonsense. And just pray, really. Go for it. That's what I do. <laughs> well, that's smart. I wish I could- I can't even think of anything to say. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You're overthinking it. You really gotta just sort of, like, talk from your brain without filtering first and hope it makes sense. That That's part of, of operating on YouTube. Aww. Yeah, Which that's... is harder than it sounds. It is. But... It's like really hard. Magic carp. What? He was at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's my fault. All right, let's just continue. Okay. Every 30 minutes or so. I'm good at this. So, Every 30 minutes or so. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I... Wait, it's over before I know it. Oh, by the way, there's some kind of... Uh, there's some grammar mistakes, like Kat and I found. Yeah. After I packed... Oh, okay. Yeah. That, sounded, that first sentence sounded really weird. <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Me. Same. <laughs> motivation in everything. Clubs? Say where he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. That's true. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. How embarrassing. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Me. Like, so many times classes ended, I'm like... <laughs> just staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher's like, you weren't listening to Are me, Are you were okay? You? <laughs> you, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> That sounds like me. <laughs> this sounds like a thing I would say. Oh my gosh. It's like all of us. That's why we're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> together, we make one whole person. We stare at the wall together as entertainment. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come with, come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? <laughs> there is no way. Are you I, okay? I didn't know my voice could do that bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you going through puberty? <laughs> Second puberty. <laughs> I'm just a freshman! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> eh, eh, meanie. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Wait, doing mom passion. Eh. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. She doesn't really seem like the girl. 
In fact, I'm 99% sure she's the only, she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. It's not. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Yay, favoritism. <laughs> Wait, the, spoil system. Spoils, that's true. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? <laughs> well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Are you guys going to do all the reading, by the way? I uh, There will be some points where I'm just like, skip over it. Yeah, I don't really want to read all of these. <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. At some point, because he's going to get bored, so I'm just going to do all the reading. And I'll do it quick. I let out a long sigh. Sigh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sigh. <laughs> that didn't sound like a Like, sigh? sigh or like... Sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that, that came out horribly. Honestly, though, who wouldn't be bribed with free sugary things? I yes, would... let's go! You see the undertow, we say, say let's, let's go. go! I would go because of free cupcakes. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Me! <laughs> I remember. I remember the days when I had a soul, but I sold it when for did a we turn? What year did we turn 15? Was it 2015? No, no, no. No, it wasn't 20. <laughs> you have to think about that. Wow, I don't even know. <laughs> what was six? August 10th, 2011. Because <laughs> <laughs> remember, we went to the DC Cupcakes place. Oh, right. I think just that by itself, this is the day I sold my soul for a cupcake, would make an excellent anime. Oh my that god. That would. <laughs> it's like. That's like the title of like really. That, Cute that's theme when song. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used to for third being generally used for third year classes and activities Sayori Yuri says am I the only one who dislikes Sayori already and this MC is so relatable yes I don't even like this Sayori she seems like a pushover <laughs> well you can pick multiple girls okay Okay. Full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Mm. Everyone, the new member is here. I was just like, I go, floosh. <laughs> I knew it too. <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. You know, eh. I feel like it's more of a meh. Welcome to the Literature Club! It's a pleasure to meet you! Okay, then, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I like that voice for her. <laughs> uh, the next one's gonna be Paps from uh, Undertale. Sayori always says nice things about you! Oh crap, how did I do my Paps voice? Seriously, I you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, <laughs> uh, Taco Senpai. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> uh, I knew you were gonna do that. Taco <laughs> Senpai! Suddenly, you guys laughing really loud. <laughs> do you want me to redo it? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, Taco Senpai. What a surprise. <laughs> Grandmama, it's me. Anastasia. <laughs> oh, man, we really did that. I hope this was I hope this oh, was Barbara. Oh, gosh, it's not. It's okay. 
Welcome to the club. I can't do the voice. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Katie just put a really laughy face. <laughs> oh, words escape me in this situation. <laughs> Grandmama. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute guys. <laughs> yes. All of Thank them. you! The testosterone finally is gone! <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to if you want to say something, say it. Sorry. No, it's cute! Oh wait, how'd he do that? Oh. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She was also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore you can just ignore her when she gets moody. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping track of voices. <laughs> Sayori says that's quite says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. He's looking at your non exist existent chest, Pinky. <laughs> oh no, I skipped over it! Alright. And this Katie, is I'm so glad you're here. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Oops. Wait, we can speed up tech speed, okay? Okay. I think I clicked shift. Hit return my help. Don't say things like that! Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you're already- you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wait, you know the voice. That's right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's great to see you again, Taka Senpai. Monica smiles <laughs> sweetly. <laughs> oh, stop. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, wonder why. Basically completely out of my league. She's a Mary Sue. <laughs> so having... Mary boop, Sue. Boop. King Felice. I mean, Mary Sue Felice. <laughs> boop, boop. King Felice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so having her smile at me generally feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Taco Senpai. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. <laughs> basically the source of his fantasies. Yes, Katie, you are correct. <laughs> hey, you, hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. No one wants to sit next to you, Sayori. <laughs> then how- I was trying to remember the voice. Then how about I make some tea as well? Mm. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a, a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Just do a voice. Okay. What if he wants to sit next to Yuri? Well, that's not an option, Katie. Didn't you read? Okay, <laughs> are you ready, kids? Oh, yay! Captain! Ta da! I can't hear you! <laughs> oh, yeah, Captain! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I'm in space! <laughs> okay. I, I don't know why my mind immediately thought, oh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen <coughs> white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Yeah, yeah. Meow, meow. 
the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. That actually does sound cute. Hmm. I had oh, no I idea it. you were so good at baking Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I'm going to keep Monica's voice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Okay, I can't do Natsuki. <laughs> okay. Suri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Suri talks about her mouth full. Wait, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on Wait, her Wait, let face. me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking. Oh no! For the, the best, best angle. angle! Natsuki is quiet. <gasps> I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <laughs> she poisoned them. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. Poison flavor. I wonder if she's made it herself. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, Thank you, Natsuki. OMFG, Sayori, just leave. And Natsuki, <laughs> can I have a cupcake? I too, Katie, want a cupcake. We can put it on our list of things to try eventually at some point in the future, possibly. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them for, made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But, oh. But not for, you, you know, you, dummy. Baka. Oh. <laughs> Baka said all right, all right. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic. Oh, so and dismissed funny. something. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Okay, yeah. I, I, confession time. I actually don't know how to pronounce that word, Katie. Which word? T-S-U-N-D-E-R-E. Sundere. Sundere. Okay. You, you, Those darn T-S sounds always get me, so I'm never sure. I can't pronounce any words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the English major. You keep a whole That's tea set- That's mine. Oh. That's mine! You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Oh boy. After all, doesn't a hot cup- of, Doesn't a hot cup of coffee tell you? Enjoy a good- Help you enjoy a good life? <laughs> I like my women like I like my coffee. <laughs> With a spoon. With a spoon. <laughs> Thank you, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she is smoking. <laughs> and that's not... <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh, wait. <laughs> I mean, that you really is my foo, says Katie. Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> keep hitting it. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Fine. And thank you, God bless you. Do you want me to take Oh, God bless you. Sure. It's you. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yeah, you're Japanese. Of course you do. <laughs> Sorry if that came off, but like it's a freaking anime game. I'm I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles. Ow, oh my butt. To herself in relief. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Hold on, let me check something. I'm not checking for the folder. I just wanna make sure. I just wanna make sure I had this both. Hey, it's me. <laughs> hey, it's me, Jimmy D. <laughs> Jimmy D. <laughs> That's her friend's name. Um, Ma Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. You need to speak a little bit faster. So, what you made? So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. 
Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori really, well, Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay! Don't be embarrassed! <laughs> We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty- Taco came for the cupcakes. Yes, you are correct. And yes, I'm gonna keep interrupting you guys. <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. Hey, Big Spider! <laughs> How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. <laughs> Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you know. To be honest, I can stand all of the politics under the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I'd personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get it to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting Oh, all of the efforts to start something brand new. Eventually this voice is gonna get old. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when... I finally stopped puberty. <laughs> Especially when something that doesn't grab your attention, like... Like literature. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school event, But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best! You know, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. I can't. Enthusiastically. <laughs> Such different girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level in, of enthusiasm about literature. So Taco Senpai, <clears throat> so Taco Senpai, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, well, you know, smut novels. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have any good way uh, have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> Pet your toe. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Not Katie on your says channel. she would join Monica's club and Natsuki fellow otaku. <laughs> Anyways, what about you, Yuri? On ice. <laughs> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Ooh. Hit the oh. enter button. <laughs> my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. No! Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so <laughs> reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in, world, in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horse of horror lately. I read a horror book once. 
desperately grass act cat uh not that i can tell yet because it says we have a connection oh, again there you are all right might as well be having a conversation with a rock <laughs> with a rock really i went I expected that yuri for some reason, for someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down to Neverland. Neverland Ranch? Hidden <laughs> <laughs> <Did he> Valley? <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. With the, with the scaring and the zombies. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things. Don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Ooh. It looked like you were working on a poem called... <gasps> Don't say it out loud! That's an interesting poem title. <laughs> Put that thing back where, <laughs> where it came, came from. from so help me. Bum, bum, bum. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Say where he sidles up... Sidles? Saddles. <laughs> Saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess I mean sometimes. Why do you care? Are you gonna mock me? <laughs> yes. No, but I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Aw, oh, not, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how, how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing makes takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing for oneself. You must be willing to open your, open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have new members, I think it will help us all get a, lo a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Taka-senpai? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. <laughs> What's that, Taka-senpai? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with that with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never uh, blah 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 blah. I never said I would join this club. Sayori so may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have another club to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. 
Often girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Katie says that it's actually pronounced Natsuki, apparently. American and she's scared to see Yori's poem. <laughs> but, but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Don't fall for the puppy eyes. <laughs> oh no, you all. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, Darn if- that sugar straight to the brain. Ugh, why did I accept that cupcake? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> beautiful girls. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. I'll join the literature club. One by one. Ah! You kept moving the laptop, it's getting annoying. Taco Senpai, you're such a welcome mat. Let them walk all over you. I know. <laughs> Their eyes. I'm reading up. them also. I'm now reading these also. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. She better not find out. <laughs> <laughs> then it makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> ah! uh, thanks, that's I the, guess. That's the true horror, playing with your sister. <laughs> oh. Okay, everyone. I think th with that, we can officially end today's meeting. <laughs> Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once again. Taco Senpai, I really look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I can do this. <laughs> oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Yeah. You have no idea. Can I really impress the class star Monica with this <laughs> mediocre writing skill? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nat Natsuki. Natsuki clean up their food. I keep wanting to say Natsu, like my roommate. Hey, Taco Senpai, since we're already right here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Oh. No, no, you Yay! can't. Taco Senpai, but it, it'll it probably work anyway. That's how these games work, lol. <laughs> <laughs> With that, the two of us departed the classroom and made our way home. Or make our way home, excuse me. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Monica! <laughs> Monica! Will I, I really, will I really be happy spending every day after school in literature club? Perhaps I'll have to chain a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I, I'm looking at the stream oh, right now right. I didn't realize how dramatic my face looked. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Hmm. So you just... So you pick what you think the club members will like. So I think it's... I don't remember what Sayori is, but I think Natsuki is like the cutesy things, and... Uh, so Natsuki is really cutie, cutesy things. Yuri is going to be really well like thought out, maybe it, philosophical kind of stuff. And then what's Sayori's? Cat, you're cutting out. Let me know when I'm good to talk again. You're good to talk again. Okay. Came through. And what's Sayori's? Sayori will be between the really cute stuff and the really philosophical slash dark stuff. Alright. So pick a word. <sighs> so you can appeal to any of them, you can try to appeal to all of them about equally, but if there's one girl in particular that you would like to go for, 
Not really. Pick your according to that. Sparkle. We each get ten, so you get the first ten. Okay. Tenacious. Tenacious is a good word. Ocean. I thought you were gonna say ocean. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it was like a write-in one, so you'd be like penis, penis. <laughs> I am a dude in this game. Um, well, not true. They don't do unrequited. Unrequited. No, unrequited. Yeah. Fantasies. <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, how about Papa? Papa. <laughs> Cat the da Papa. <laughs> one of them's got to have a daddy kink. What? I said one of them's got to have a daddy kink. <laughs> um, playground. Precious. And how about bubbles? Wait. What is that word? <laughs> I don't even know that word. Evulgent? 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 I don't know that uh, word. I don't see the word. Hang on. Give it oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. That's weird. It's an abomination. That's what that is. All right. And that's my turn. Well, wait. No, I think you get one, two. You get one more. I feel like suicide's just too easy. How about puppy? End it on a happy note. All right. Jump. <laughs> Your doki words doki. Good. <laughs> Your words are really good. <laughs> Aura. Uh, email. The emails. Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> what are these words? Pain. Imagination. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> Giggle. And shining brightly, radiant. Oh. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. It's still a weird sounding word and weird looking word. Makes me think of coffee, like Folgers coffee. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I actually prefer effervescent, which is difficult to say, but really entertaining. Hi again, Ta- Hi again, Taco Senpai. We're just gonna speed through this at this point. Okay. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> 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 this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Oh, who was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Taco-senpai. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Wow, rude. Aw, oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori, Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan... To just come here and hang out or what? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Natsuki finds herself stuck Bullshit. between saying Monica and manga. Hmm? Manga's, manga's literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry, guys. Taco Senpai always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps. He helps me with busy work without even without me even asking, like cooking, cleaning my room. How depend? How dependable? Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. Oh, and you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> Same. Is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Ta how come you and Taco Senpai could be good friends too? Um, Sayori. Hmm. <laughs> He's dependable. He's dependable because you're useless, Sayori. <laughs> it's true. Dot, dot, oh dot. Oh, gosh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just puts me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Hey, wait. Me? And, oh, wait. Let's see. And me? 
Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Wait, this was more... You know this type of personality. You were this person for a long time. Why aren't you reading Yuri's? I don't know. Sayori made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not. Uh, what... What do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I will make a big deal if you don't want it to be. <laughs> don't bat those hazel eyes at me. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, th th this is? How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's a, it, it takes lots of practice. <laughs> She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. So, I enthusiastically take the book. So what would you do if someone like just hands you a book is like, Hey, I like you. Read this book and we can both be special buddies. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, if they didn't add that last part, I would be fine with it. I would be like, aww. Oh, go. Yuri is so considerate. Marry her taco senpai. I will. Katie, I love you. I hope I can. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. <laughs> You're a slow reader, too, at times. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. One second. Hey, Cad, did you share this in the uh, in uh, Jimmy's Discord? I, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say you should. Um, I think I did. I I don't. I'm pretty sure I heard. I saw some. No, not Doki Doki. One second. I'm gonna check the Discord too. Cause I don't get updates for Discord. Oh, snack time. Snacky snacky. Part of the crunch munching. Yeah, I posted it in my thing, because there's not a separate one for Pup. I like to pick out the nuts. You like nuts? I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, well, it's I love nuts. Me. Yeah, because I was going to say, did you post it in the chat room, or did you post it on your server page portion? So I have, like, everything but the mod chat, like, on mute. Oh, not Doki Doki was in our server. Doki Doki! So now there's one in the other server. Cool. Alright. Did you ever read that, Chrissy? Yeah. Alright. Scheduled club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. <laughs> wow. Have... Yuri, you have strange reading habits. Hush. Oh, hush you. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. I dropped one. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Natsuki's in the closet. Oh my gosh, man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. You have to speed up your reading. Please. I slumped down into the nearest deck. Desk. I know they had decks in classes. I know, fancy. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book 
some of the book Yuri gave me. Also, by the way, part of our munching, uh, our mom made delicious apple checks over the holidays, which we both are addicted to. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Me. I close my eyes and end up listening to... Wait, listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monaco. Well, we're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Mm. Well, we can't give up. <laughs> Grandmama, it's me, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> the fest this festival is our chance to show everyone who we are. I'm just going to sing that. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. I mean, it kind of sounds like that. Yeah. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm, that doesn't solve the problem, though. <sighs> what do you mean? I'm speeding this. Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, <coughs> nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place. You know, I realized I was being in Yuri's voice. And after they come, we can do the thing, do the thing to speak to to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rude to hear her delivery. Delivering like this. Huh? That's a good point. <laughs> Mom and Dad are probably upstairs wondering, what the fuck are they doing? What are they talking about? In that case, do you think food will do the trick? That was an anime once. <laughs> in an anime once. I think I read that in a manga once. <laughs> I read a fan fiction <laughs> about that once. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Oh my god. Ha uh ha -huh. Good. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. I love that. Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Me too. Dot, dot, dot. Cupcakes, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. I'm gonna quickly also, I realized I didn't share this on Facebook. I just shared it on Facebook. I'm working on that now. Share it to the group chat. Actually, wait, I can do that right now. Here we go. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Ooh, I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But there lies an unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori comes, like, can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. A wah? I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. <laughs> I nearly fall out of my chair. I would too. That's creepy. Bad Sayori. I think I gotta share her poems at all. <laughs> <laughs> Patience, Sorry. Baby. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> I wish they the, had that. <laughs> that's the going home club. <laughs> Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have a lot you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see Monica overheard. It's true, though. Actually, I'm going to make a save point. Because Piers and... Save the game. It's true.
true, though. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, you're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. <laughs> That's a problem. Mako Senpai isn't the, isn't the one who always oversleeps. <laughs> That's Fair true. Fair point. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? <laughs> eh. Not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I knew it. Come on! I knew it. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over your face. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How'd you glance around at yourself? How is it written all- oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just go like this. <laughs> That's a very 2000-something dance. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in the rush this morning. Look at her hair. Her oh my god. Around the place. <laughs> ah. I've run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten it out. Oh my gosh, this is getting intense. <laughs> ah. Man, you really need to brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. Hey, oh, you know what's funny? That. I also have pink in my hair. Hey. I am Taco Senpai. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. It's called the crooked aesthetic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look it up. God, you're- And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Really? I don't think so. Oh, right there. No, I mean- Or maybe those are just dots. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Ooh, intense. I like where this is going. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. He did. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. <laughs> and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Let me be your boyfriend. <laughs> eh. Okay, that was a very uncomfortable sound. That's super mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really feel uncomfortable I did that in front of me. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button up her blazer from the bottom. <laughs> Once um, you see um, how, much it get, how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> She's even missing, like, I don't know if the... Uh, her shirt, yeah. Like... Her buttons are askew. Is, she, is he going to go near her chest and start buttoning that as well? <laughs> I hope this is PG. This is so funny. It is. What is? Well, I just saw, I just, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Oh. Don't, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Baka. Baka. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Boobies. <laughs> I struggled to flash the button boobs. near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? I really matured like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you even buttoned it, it would have you would have noticed that sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> did, don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> oh no! I have your parents walking. What the? <laughs> Yeah. They're upstairs probably wondering what's wrong with us. Like, look at this. Have, have you, are you watching the stream, cat? Yes, I am. <laughs> anyway. So you just know why. So you just saw what I did. 
Yeah. You look much better now. So, uh, why does this feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, wait, ooh. Ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Button. <laughs> Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying this like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he would never even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. Anyway, anyway, so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. And because it doesn't fit you. Stop yeah. saying all those embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Gentlemen's agreement? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, uh, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. <laughs> eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Finally. Yay. Taco Senpai, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I feel to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Are we... Uh... Your relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't find... I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on the wrinkled sheet of loose, loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Me. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Me. <laughs> I mean, I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I left. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching to their bags. I do the same myself. Wonder how our poem turned out. Who do you want to partner with? How about... Is Monica our crush? That we like? I don't uh, remember. Or is it Yuri? You like all... Th your character likes all, all of them, but like, consider how you are your friend. Let's go with Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed a great... Seemed eager to read my poem, and I want to know why putting in effort. I'll read the poems. Okay. Hi, Taco Senpai. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better. Oh, she wrote, Katie wrote Yuri or Natsuki. Oh. Sorry, Katie. We didn't read it fast enough. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All oh. right, I'll keep that in mind. Sorry, I wasn't watching the chat like I should have been. It's fine. I, Shame I, on me. You're... Oh, of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until it's more settled in. Anyway, would you share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> 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 I have to say, Monica has hair goals. I yes. know. I want that so badly. You know that actually the f the way her bangs are where it's long. That's actually called, I believe, in Japan, a hime cut. Hime. Which well, she is a Mary Sue. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know, but it's that sort of barrier that we're all where that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of, a, of something Sayori would like. 
Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Oh, well... We might be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that c the kind of vibe I'm getting where you when you're reading your po when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha ha ha. I could be. <laughs> Gosh, I sound like Harry. Okay, doing that voice makes me really lightheaded. <laughs> Don't do it anymore. <laughs> but it's so funny. Only do it when it's like the ah. Oh my god. I feel so lightheaded. Can you actually go upstairs and give me some water? You can keep doing the okay. playthrough while I go. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. <coughs> so, I just got slightly... I realized I can't do that voice as much. <laughs> could you hear me getting kind of like Brocky Cat? Yes, I could. I was waiting for it to get to you. <laughs> I'm surprised it took this long. Gosh, I sound like Yuri. But, in any case, Sayori is writing... <laughs> has kind of was has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she really likes exploring the emotions, like happiness. Who knew that someone would be happy so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to to each their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a whole while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Wow, that really got to me. <laughs> Your what, huh? Thank you. And just start reading and hitting. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh-huh. Cat's like, just only do it with the laughing. That's the best part. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Never. Don't worry. I'm not very good. You, could, you sound pretty confident <coughs> for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's, well, that's because I have, to, I have to sound confident. That doesn't sound, that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? So did mom and dad look at you weird when they went out? No. Well, let's read it then. All right, I'll read. Hole in a wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that, spa that spackle protrudes, the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll no I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. My eyes are blind. My retinas. <laughs> <She's> saying, <laughs> My leg. My leg. Okay, but I was gonna say if she's blind, she needs to stop. <laughs> oh <my God>. um, <laughs> but it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. Oh, click outside the poem. Right? I was looking out and he on the other side was looking in. So I'm just going to tell you this. All these are kind of like hints leading up to something. I just want you to know that. Okay, so, so do like, I have to memorize them or something? No, but like, no, just... No, the poems just all kind of, like, they give clues about the personalities like, so, and lead on the story and things like that. So, like, if we were to tomorrow, like, if you really like this game, they recommend you play this game twice because, like, 
just with how it's set up, you're supposed to play it a couple times to like fully understand it. Okay. So, Jeez, Molly got deep. She did get deep, Katie. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for this feedback. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Bless you? Bless you? Pick up. Oh. <laughs> I was like, is that- You've heard me sneeze. You know I'm not that quiet. <laughs> when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was that inspiration be What was the inspiration behind this one? So, can I just request that we just say inspiration as inspo at this point? Inspo? Sure. Because I feel like we should be basic when we do this. What was the inspo behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about <laughs> deep stuff like that. Be deep, deep like my voice, <laughs> Taco Senpai. Ah. Because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other? Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I feel like I also sound like a drag queen, like Sharon Needles. Sharon Needles. <laughs> I love her. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down to the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. <laughs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Okay, of Katie, you're your Natsuki. Or Cat. We'll even take Cat's suggestion. We'll wait for votes. Oh, I'm just here for snarky commentary. <laughs> my eyes are getting really tired, but that's because my contacts are drying them out. No, I'm just really tired. I like to sleep a lot. I would say, if need be, you guys can also screen share through Discord, and I should be able to see the screen as you see it. Should. If that'll help. I'm hoping it doesn't mess with the system. As I mentioned. Is it screen sharing? Yeah. Alright. There you go. Natsuki. What do you want, Chrissy? Do you we want... can do Natsuki. Natsuki. Alright, we're just gonna, at this point, just like, not really speak. Dot, 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 dot. Well, it's just what I expected from, it's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a little blunt, wow. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It didn't even... It just didn't evoke any m emotions. Like that blank wall at the MoMA. That really pisses me <laughs> off all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> the blank wall at the MoMA. <laughs> That's like a really like... <laughs> you have to spin to the MoMA to get that joke. <laughs> yeah. It's true. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Smack a bitch. Oh, that's my kink. I'll pass. <laughs> Taco Senpai's kink. <sighs> well, anyway, I just need to sh to show you mine. Not that you'll li not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> That's cute. It is. Short and sweet. To the yeah. Point. I told you that you weren't going to like, that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. 
Why are you convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But, but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style would make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. So I'm just gonna say this. So I go to university, everyone everyone here knows this. So one of the things they teach you is actually what she's like saying, like short, short sweet, and to the point. Yeah. You Away from traditional that. writing. Well, that's they teach you to do that as a teacher. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight into on the wordplay. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then but then made it all fall flat on purpose. Mm. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. It does. Sorry about that twitch. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I thought you were the oldest. Yeah, I guess not. That answers it. Well, it means to be a pro, says the fourth. Well, I think with our high school host club, it makes us all believe that like the shortest one's usually the senpai. <laughs> Oh, something last comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how old people are. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. What a child. So we'll do Sayori next then, Yuri. Dot dot dot. Oh my goodness. This sounds so good, Taco Senpai. Eh? What? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must, oh. you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because y I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Remember <from> Shigo Kara? <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I don't know why characters do that. Because <laughs> we used to watch Shigo Kara a lot. There was that one character. I want to watch it. <laughs> Those old men we'll watch it too. We should watch it too. She kind of no the other one, the short one who wrote that cute poem. She looks like Amun. Yes, I hope I wasn't the only one thinking that. Jeez. Well, when we started talking about Shigokara, I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than that. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people here, you know. So when I read your poem, so when I read your poem, it's it's not just a poem. It's Taco Senpai's poem. I wrote it, of course it is. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I feel like I can feel your feelings in it. Suri hugs the sheet against her chest. Charming. You're so weird, Sayori. It helps having props, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the room. Sorry, my side itches. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but if it doesn't mean I'll break my, but doesn't mean I'll break my promise. Just case, well, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. Oh, dang. Uh, this is like a two and a half hour stream. Mm -hmm. Until we finish, if you want. See? It's like it's like I said before, Taco Senpai. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? <laughs> you kind of start getting that Grinch smile. I'm trying new th I'm trying new things. Like this one before. Like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? 
That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? No. You bitch. <laughs> Don't Definition worry. Too. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. I thought Woods would sleep out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I love it. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait till this morning to write it? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit. It's a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Mm. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Her Don't... hands look so tiny. They do. She's so I'm tiny sorry. herself. Trump hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> even, <laughs> even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. Okay, we both skip breakfast all the time, but we're still breakfast. pretty good people. I get all cranky. Okay, that's you. Hangry. <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But, oh. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I guess I'll look forward to it. Finally, Yuri. Last one. Dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, S sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. Okay, this is pretty much like what you were in like uh, public school. She oh, was yeah. a really shy kid. I didn't, I didn't like talking. I think, I think Kat, was Chrissy that shy when we were in high school together? I, by the time Chrissy and I started actually talking each other. She's kind of coming out of the shell a bit more. <laughs> huh. I, I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. That's me. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri burrs her face in her hands. It doesn't look like she's burying her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice I've been so minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Oh, I was saying the side button. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What are you, what were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up to pick up on them. To pick on them. <laughs> Your writing style sucks. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's pretty oh. much what she's saying. I don't like yeah. her. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. I have never heard of that. Me neither. The end result is that both the styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, its demeanor, her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she like looks like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, 
even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Mm. It might it might take you some time, but it's it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Are you okay? Uh yeah. I also sorry, someone I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a vol- a valuable feedback. You should share this with your group. Becca wants to know the name. Um I can send it to her. Tell Becca. Hey, RJ, welcome to the chat and the live stream. We haven't gotten terribly Are far yet. Finishing up the round, the first me. round of poems. Oh, Charlie, if you're not going to have me read for somebody, um, you can turn your screen share off. That might help keep things smooth. Oh, do you want to read for one of them? Because I can't do, like, the three different voices. Would you, would you do Natsuki's? Sure. All right. I don't mind. I hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please, do. I love to share my thoughts behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Sorry for texting in the middle of this. People just... Which is kind kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? I can barely read that. Oh my gosh, what is her writing? It's cursive. It's very, very fancy. Yeah. Ghosts under the light. Sorry about my face zooming in. Tendrils of the hair illuminate beneath... The amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Do you do this flicker or do you like do a different flicker? I don't know. Tell her I sent it to her on um Facebook. I, did. I also sent it to her. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry. I have such terrible yes, handwriting. Yes, you do. Yeah, if I had to go <laughs> not like what? that and I'm wearing it's my contacts. It's actually very neat handwriting. It's just a pain in the ass to read when you're not expecting it. It's so hard. I wasn't thinking that at all. But today you <laughs> took a long time to read. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? Now that I think about it, I actually write like that too. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. What was that really depressing, like, six-word poem or something about shoes? I don't remember. Like, baby shoes for sale? Yeah. Yeah, that's always... I know what you're talking about. baby shoes for sale, unused. Oh, there we go. Uh. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's your first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? (laughs) 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 Oh, I love doing that. It's one of my favorite things to do. (laughs) Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Taco (gasps) Senpai. Plot twist? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well... I suppose he did only glance over it after all. But it took me forever to read. How dare you? <laughs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in the in their world. They they usually do more than a simple story, or sh- or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the object of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to go. Let go, of her. Let go of her of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I thought you were going to say Solomon. Solomon putting I, it that way. <laughs> it's solemn, but I thought you were going to say Solomon. <laughs> At first I was. I haven't even thought of that. 
That's like impressive. Saruman. Saruman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sauron. Sauron. <laughs> it's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Phew. Phew. So do you want me to just write, read everything for Natsuki? Or? Yes, please. I guess that's everyone I'll try to sound as around much like a bit as possible. You don't have to change your voice for that cat. <laughs> <laughs> I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> Le sigh. Le sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes lean on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Sorry. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Yes. It's clearly <laughs> about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Taco Senpai did too. Yeah. <laughs> so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Taku Senpai liked my poem too, you know. Good. He even told me that he was impressed by it. <laughs> cat fight, cat fight. Was true, Katie. Yeah. Sorry, does like everyone's. Meow. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Ooh, the music stopped. The music stopped? Like, do you hear sounds? No. Cat? Oh, I have the stream muted. I don't hear nothing. Oh, no, I was asking, did you read your part? I made I made a sound, because I was reading the chat, and so I only saw the H. So, Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Hmm. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... Y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you just feel jealous that Taco Senpai appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh! And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... no. If I was full of myself, I would be deliberately... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um... is everyone okay? Well, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Taco Senpai started showing up. Oh, oh, oh. Natsuki! 
I'm Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there! <laughs> Taco-senpai, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. <laughs> if she can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Katie, what you missed is me throwing some shade about boobs growing a size because a dude showed up. <laughs> What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Taco-senpai. Yeah, Taco-senpai. <laughs> well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Feel it's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. The most effective. Effectively is not grammatically correct, folks. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting, unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Taco Senpai? Don't involve me in this. Um. Well? Well? Uh, uh, dot, dot, dot. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? I wish I had, like, the ability in that, like, in the animes to make, like, the streak of, like, white light just, like, as I squint, like, when I answer, like, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Strategic retreat, says Katie. Yeah. It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Of course, that's going to be... I don't know! Come on, you know you agree with me. <laughs> no, you agree with me! I don't know! Uh... Help me, Sailor! Help me! Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi! <laughs> Natsuki! <laughs> Natsuki glares while glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turned to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything. Dot dot dot. Sayori. Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting to make Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friends feel like this? I've made that face multiple times that Sayori has huh? made, and that's just because of pure dumbstruckedness. Taco Senpai. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. <gasps> she would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Dash. <laughs> no dots, just dash. Okay. OMG girls, calm down. Yeah. Hakuna <laughs> Yotatas. That's my opinion. My tatas will not. Hakuna. Uh, Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give... They gave they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because well also Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> Big so and staring a little too hard. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Are they big, blonde, and beautiful? Well, she's not blonde. Mm. No. And, and beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Dot, dot, dots. My bad. 
Siri stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression at first and her face staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I can recognize things. Happy it's birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, God. What, cat? It's organized things. Uh, I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. So I'm just going to say this after this act. So if you don't mind, tomorrow we'll finish up this this game. But like we'll do this act and we'll call it quits for tonight because we're both really tired. Okay. Because I, after I get off work, I can quickly like turn this on. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that kind of... That's kind of embarrassing of me. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Nah. 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 It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori is amaz amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I'll dump her. I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. My tummy. Tummy bubbles. <laughs> Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk to her more, a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? She suddenly became very British. About sharing poems. It's a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Taco Senpai, how about you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same. That was creepy. Cat, you missed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a neat thing to talk about every everyone. <laughs> awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. What? Hey, technically we are doing the same thing tomorrow. That's true. <laughs> and baby, you you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. But how can we learn from our mistakes if we don't even know what our poem said? I think to myself. <laughs> so, what a wonderful world. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Build with determination. Taco Senpai, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go! Because we saw the undertow. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hyper beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. That's a shitty friendship, can I just say? It's okay. I'm looking at. What are you looking at? Oh, I was looking at the stream as I go. It was pretty funny. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. You know. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Doesn't that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them ever fight like this. 
I promise they won't. They're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Yes. No, I don't hate them. <laughs> I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Taco Senpai, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. He just wants to date the butt. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> I didn't even hit you that hard. Tap. <laughs> I've said some shoulders. I said that more to myself than than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Did you not really know internal? It, like, shifted a little bit. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we're going to make the poem? Yep. And then, so I'll pick the first ten, you pick the last ten. Sounds good. So, also, I don't know if you noticed this. But the girls will jump if you pick a word that they like. Ooh. So, do you, for mine, I'm gonna go dark. I need to pick up. Essence. <laughs> Actually, that's oh gosh. <laughs> Fluffy. No, not really. No. Ooh, captive. <laughs> Do we ever get to read our poems? No, nope. no. You I only wanna... pick words specifically to appeal to the uh, preferences of the girls. Aww. You don't get an actual poem out of it. That stinks. What? And then ducky ducky, and you get to pick <gasps> your kawaii. How about misery? Oh, I want a death. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Now Don't we I'm all? Sadness. I once said that and someone asked me if I had issues. How about cage? <laughs> fester. I love it. Every time I hear the word fester, I think Adams. Adams, me too. How about broken? <gasps> Giggle. <laughs> How about... A tone for one sense. Lollipop. Alrighty, so that puts an end to today's episode. So I think this ends like this goes next one's act three. So we're just going to call it night. We're both very tired. It's like ten fifty three, but we're both had a pretty fun packed day. Yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will be streaming this tomorrow around uh, 9 30, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Because I have to work. What a loser. But. <laughs> so I'd say we're what, Kat? About almost maybe halfway through? Maybe. I think we exchanged poems three times. Yeah, so we're about th uh, almost two thirds to about halfway through with this game. Uh, so we'll just finish this tomorrow. We'll, we'll be streaming till the very end um, and stuff. So her date shall continue tomorrow, episode two. Double date. Don't forget to save. Make a save point. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Restart all over again. I think she'll murder me if I don't make a save point. Yes. I'm gonna make two save points. Double save. All right. So we're gonna hit. Why didn't you just use one of the empty slots? There was an empty slot, and I'm just like, I've been known to, like, save the wrong ones. So we're gonna quit. Let's see. Yes. Wahoo! 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 Little, little. Alright. So. Let's see. It saved it. Chrissy, it saved it. No, I was seeing how big my face is. 
So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the ending of this. This is gonna, it's going to be about maybe an hour and a half longer, if not like the same amount of time. Cause unlike our friend Jimmy D thirty one, we know how to space it out, and we also have lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's mean. That's way too mean, even for me. That's mean. That is mean. That is. Well, he's like, Charlie, do you work? And that kind of like... I, I know he meant well. So, um, yeah, so... Mean drink. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like I said, like a million times. Uh, welcome. New oh, shit, that's cold. <laughs> My nails are even colder. Feel. Well. They're like... They're as cold as ice. So, um, yeah. Okay. We'll be back good. tomorrow, maybe around 10-ish at the latest. Yeah. Because I work at a Chinese restaurant, so I need time to, like, prep and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, look out for the Disney vlogs. Uh, unfortunately, I had to push them back one more week, so they should be up out starting Monday. I don't know. I'm not... No. I'm just, I just felt like looking at you. So they should be out maybe Monday. Uh, thanks to Kat for popping in and in the end voicing Natsuki. Happy to be a bitch for you. <laughs> it's where our friendship is. Um, so yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. And just hit... All you have to do is hit the button. And bye, bye. guys!